must not engage on destructive strikes. Because at the end, we want to go back to the same workplace. If we destroy it, what are we trying to do? So we must condemn violence. In fact, there will come a time where we have to criminalize, criminalize destruction. We have to do that, but peaceful strikes, there is no problem with that. I'm saying this because once you destroy the workplace, once you bend down things, with whom are you going to settle the uh, the issues they're raising. Because it means there's no more a workplace. The loss is bigger now. People will lose jobs because the company is going to be forced to close. So this is something we have to talk about and, and all agree that we have to be uh, not tolerant to this violence. It can't be that we come back and defend this thing by saying, no, no, those are not our members. We condemn violence on television. But it continues there. It can't be. I think on violence, we've seen some strikes where poor hawkers' property, what they are selling, trying to make ends meet, destroying everything. Is that for the good? Is that a good cause? No, no, certainly. Maybe let me talk about even beyond the strikes, some of the political strikes. Who was the loser when we saw the violence in 2022? The violence in 2021, when we saw the violence, people protesting against the arrest of the former president. A number of factories were destroyed in KZN and even in Gaudi. And even today we have not recovered from that. So violence has no place. When we want to protest, we must do it in a peaceful way. We're killing the future of our people.